get it from barrier three. Uh, Brad Parnham, very good jockey, alongside his uh, brother Chris, and uh, and I think uh, he'll be she'll be right in the thick of it. Ten leading man, there's been money for it. We'll get back to be running on. And two, Murrumbine's been very consistent this campaign. Four, five, ten and two for mine. Ahead of the Rock Tech Handicap, 1,300. Race six out of Kalgoorlie, Scott. Four, five, ten and... Four, five, ten and two. Four, five, ten and two. Three dollars ten now leading man. It's a huge go, this. Not for me, but Crashane Warren has him in for third and Dave Sheehan has him in for second. Four, ten, five and one, Dave's numbers. Both Crashane and Dave are with victory shot here with Chris Parnham aboard for Peter Fernie. They're loading in nicely. Here's Dave for the call of race number six. 100 metres the journey here for this uh, sixth event, the Rock Deck Handicap. So we're not too far away. Of course, the next one is the Cup. Now, great charade about to come along. And we'll be set to go. The starter now gets around in position. Great charade to st straighten up. And they bring him along. Great charade. They're all set to go. Stand by. Red lights are on. Race six. Hits the button. Away they go. Beautiful start. Coming out quickly. She knows best. Uh, showing speed as Murrumbine also driving up towards the lead. Strasmore is also going forward and Kentucky Love's up in that leading pack. Heron Sand just behind them. Slick units out there wide. Then came Doctor on Ice. Great Charade is looking to get in. They were followed by a victory shot leading man. Then back on the inside is Nord Avenue. It's found itself a long way back with War Anthem here with Arabian's Girl and Old Bailey is at the tail of the field. 800 metres left to go. Murrumbine takes it up. Leads by one Strasmore. She knows best. Third, fourth, Slick unit. Then came Kentucky Love. They were followed by Heron Sand, who's going up around the outside. From Great Charade, they were followed then by Victory Shot going up in the centre. Doctor on Ice, it is back on the inside. Leading man taking off around the outside. A break of two and a half then to over on the inside, Nord Avenue with War Anthem, Arabian's Girl, Old Bailey last of all, coming around the corner now. Inside the final 300 metres, Murrumbine just shows the way here. Heron Sand, it has uh, gone up on the outside. Uh, now with its runners, great charade on the outside. Leading man with its run and uh, victory shot is uh, looking for a run now. Great charade has hit the lead here from uh, leading man and battling away as Heron Sand on the inside, but great charade has kicked away and it wins it here from Heron Sand, slick unit. Fourth leading man, then victory shot. They were followed uh, back behind them by Doctor on Ice. Then uh, back in the field here was uh, Strasmore with Kentucky Love, Arabian's Girl. Then came War Anthem. She knows best well back North Avenue with Old Bailey and Murrumbine at the tail. Nine, great charade. John Lug, Sean O'Donnell, a wonderful ride from Sean O'Donnell. We get used to seeing that when he does come up to the KVRC, a senior rider down from up, should I say, or inland at least from Perth, and he just gives them every single chance in the run. It's nine, five, seven gets in for third in slick unit and ten in fourth in leading man. The plunge horse has missed the money, but it's nine, five, seven and ten. Nine on top, great charade. John Lug and Sean O'Donnell and uh, great charade is a five-year-old gelding by Magnus wins start number three at his 24th outing today. And it's two wins out of the last three for John Lug since he's had him transferred up here to the KBRC. Five Heron Sand didn't look like she got in from gate number three for Brad Parnham. She might have even been three wide the trip from the from the inside gate there. Seven in slick unit. Winkers on, and it wasn't a bad effort at any old price there for Tegan Clun. And ten in fourth in leading man. We'll grab John Lug if we can for a little bit of a word here after the win of Great Charade. But uh, he makes it uh, two ends out of his last three, and he's loving life up here in Kalgoorlie. We'll grab John Lug. John, Great Charade, he's loving it up here, isn't he? Yeah, he's done really well, Scott. Um, I thought it was a pretty tough win. He's four and five wide all the way, facing the breeze, sort of, you know. Um, but um, he's done really terrific. I you know, couldn't be happier with the horse. What you say to Sean going into the race? He obviously hasn't ridden him before. I just told Sean he was fit and well, and uh, Sean's had a look at his replays and everything. So um, the barrier was the issue, but uh, as it's turned out, it's probably a blessing he was out of trouble. And uh, Trevor Andrews has always said to me, he just doesn't like being inside horses. Um, and as it worked out today, he wasn't inside horse for the whole race, sort of, you know. So, but it was a really tough win. Really happy with him, mate. And when you would have got him from Trevor, he would have been race fit. It's a beautiful pickup for you. Oh uh, yeah, Trev's, you know, Trev's a one of the best horsemen in the state and he came in terrific order, you know, so, um, but he has done exceptionally well here, you know, so.
hopefully there's more wins installed. Only two horses still in work for you? Got an extra one now, Scott. <laughs> Who's the extra one? Uh, <laughs> Dance Cocker, yes. <laughs> um, he might pick up a race here. He didn't go too bad today. What do you think of his run earlier on the day? Yeah, he just blinkers off, I think. He pulled a bit. Sean said he just pulled a bit and uh, sort of couldn't get him to settle, so we'll take the blinkers off him. There's a class two for him in a couple of weeks. That'll suit him a lot better. When you've only got three horses in work and uh, one of them wins two out of the last three, it's it's yeah, uh, just yeah. happy days, isn't it? Well done, John. Yeah, yeah, and i got one in the last. Keep fingers crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed for you. Well done, John. Thanks, There's John Lug there with the win of uh, Great Charade. It's nine, five, seven and ten, but our Sky Thoroughbred Central audience now will be off to race number eight at Chartin to see if it's a five, Pete, today for Joe Marira, who's on fire.